Here it comes! Severe weather is about to come roaring back. <laughs> As we could have several severe weather outbreaks, possibly tornado outbreaks in a row. Now when is this all gonna happen? And how bad will it be? I'll have all that and more on your forecast starting now. Ooh, look at that purple, it doesn't look good. All right, everyone, happy Monday, the day after Mother's Day. Hopefully all of you had a great time with your friends, your family, and your moms on Sunday. This is what we have cooking right now as of Monday. Check it out. We've got a low pressure here that is just spinning down in the deep south, and that is making for a gorgeous satellite view. This almost looks like a giant hurricane. This is gonna cause some severe weather today in portions of South Carolina, North Carolina, down into Florida. That's also bringing some clouds up here in the Ohio Valley. That's all associated with that low pressure. That's why we've had days of rainfall in the deep south in Florida, but it does look like today is the last day of that. Now here's the severe weather risk for today, Monday. Once again, just a marginal, a one out of five, could see some strong storms anywhere from Georgia down into South Carolina into Florida, where we do have a non-zero tornado risk. I don't think we're gonna be talking about a tornado outbreak today by any means though. And then both Tuesday and Wednesday should slow down big time in terms of the severe weather as that low works its way off the coast, as we don't even have any risk for severe storms on both Tuesday and Wednesday. We do have that marginal area up in North and South Dakota. I'm not too concerned about that at this particular moment. Though. What I am concerned about is starting on Thursday, and this is when our severe weather will likely pick up in a big way, as they've already introduced this area right here in yellow that goes from Wisconsin through Illinois, through Indiana, through Michigan, even into Ohio, where the conditions could be right for some big time supercells. I'm talking about supercells that you normally get out on the plains, you'd be looking at in places that normally don't see it. And here's why, here's the setup of why this is gonna happen. So let's go ahead and go to Thursday. Notice here, you've got this energy that's starting to eject off the Colorado Rockies. As we go into the day Thursday, notice how that slides quickly to the north and becomes a very defined upper level low. Notice also we've got a negatively tilted trough here. That just means it's tilted like this, no, like this. And you'll also notice we've got really strong winds ramping through here. There's a recipe for some supercell thunderstorms to form right off to the east. And as we go into Friday, we've got a secondary area down here of really strong winds at higher levels of the atmosphere. And that'll be round two of severe weather on Friday. And this is the risk that we have outlined for Friday. So we had the risk Thursday. Now we also have another severe weather risk on Friday, May 16th. That includes places of like Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, even into Kentucky. Now let's go ahead and break down everything I know about the risk for Thursday and Friday. And then we're gonna talk about the weekend because we could have more severe weather risks then as well. In terms of the Cape, what we're looking at right now, this is the energy for storms, the Gatorade for storms, the more red, the more purple, the more white you see right in here, that is big time energy, plenty of energy for storm. And as we go into Thursday, look at this, purples and dark purples and yellows, that is more than enough energy for storms. That is explosive energy for storms. That's like a hand grenade for a storm that's just waiting to explode. As we go into Friday, we'll also have plenty of energy for storms right here in the area that the Storm Prediction Center outlined. So both those days could be pretty potent. We looked at the energy for the storms now. Will there be enough spin in the atmosphere? Because remember, to get tornadoes, you need two different factors. You need enough energy for storms, but you also need the air to be spinning. That is what we're looking at right here. The, the more purple, the more red you see, the more spin, the more wind shear there will be in the atmosphere. So unfortunately, it does look like a tornado outbreak is certainly possible on Thursday places like Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, even into Kentucky and into Ohio. And looking at Friday, once again, there'll be plenty of Cape and there also will be some spin in the atmosphere, especially in Kentucky, down here in Tennessee, Arkansas, right in there where I circled. That's where I would be watching for more severe weather along that front on Friday. Stop what you're doing right now. Pick up your mouse and your hand just like this. Throw it in the air, grab it again, hit the subscribe button and mash the like button and leave a comment below. Look, someone's leaving a comment. This video is so cool. Wow, back to you, Stormcat. All right, so let me go ahead and time Thursday and Friday out and then I'm gonna show you what we're expecting for the weekend. So Thursday morning, we're gonna have a low pressure centered up here in Nebraska, into Iowa, into Minnesota. During the day, 
on Thursday. That's going to quickly slide to the north and east as it does. So you'll have the center of the low up here. You'll have a cold front that's draped right along here. And that's where storms are going to fire. See that little green right in there in Michigan, Illinois, even down into Tennessee. That is where those supercells will form. And I don't think there'll be a lot of them. There'll be a couple. But the fact that they'll be so discreet, they'll be, they'll be by themselves at the party. They'll have plenty of room on the dance floor to get going. Ha, 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 staying alive. Wow. And then overnight, we could have some storms move into Ohio and even move into Kentucky. I think this threat on Thursday will primarily be a late afternoon evening and continue well into the overnight hours the further east you go and then watch this as we get into friday our severe weather risk is really going to be centered along here this is right along a cold front that's kind of going to turn into a stationary front during the day friday and that's where storms will focus although we could get some storms up here in the northeast but i think primarily the biggest threat for tornadoes large hail damaging winds is going to be down there tennessee Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri. Now let's talk about the weekend and how it could shape up. Not only are we gonna have severe weather risks on Thursday and Friday, but we'll likely at least see some severe storms down in Texas and Oklahoma on Saturday. But I think the big event, the main event over the weekend is going to come Sunday. Watch what happens Sunday right there. That's your signal. You've got a low pressure that's gonna form right along the Rockies. And that green that I circled in Oklahoma and Kansas, that could be a big time outbreak of supercells, possibly tornadoes on Sunday. And then past Sunday next week, you're gonna see a severe weather risk to almost daily as we've got some showers and storms that pop up down here in Oklahoma Monday. And then on Tuesday, those storms slide to the north. Tuesday night into Wednesday could end up being a very big day on the plains. Here it comes. In summary, we're gonna have significant outbreaks of severe weather possible almost every day from Thursday through the weekend into early next week. We're also gonna have a lot of rain that falls in the Midwest as that low just kind of sits over there on Friday into the weekend. But notice the Southeast here, which has been rainy, cloudy, and miserable for the last couple of days, you guys will be primarily dry. So Florida is gonna get a break from the rain. Same thing with the Southeast as we go throughout this week. And temperatures, I know we've been loving these warm temperatures, but unfortunately, if you're north of this line, you will likely have below average temperatures for the third week of May. That's May 19th to 25th. And if you're south of this line, you're probably gonna get above average temperatures. There's a line over my face. I just drew that. The last thing I do wanna highlight is we do have a very elevated fire risk that goes from Nebraska through Iowa into Wisconsin and into Minnesota and in the Dakotas. So if you do live up there, we'll have very dry conditions and very hot conditions over the next couple of days. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the day to go out and have a bonfire with your friends. And just, you know, heads up, you could get some wildfires out there. Would not be surprised if several of those popped up over the next couple of days. So lastly, guys, the cat of the video. This will likely be a lot of you the next week as several rounds of severe storms roll in. Try to blot out the thunder as you try to go to sleep. All right, guys, that's all I got for us today. Once again, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are following this channel. You guys are epic. Good mom can make all the difference. So all the sacrifices and love that you've all given us, we are very appreciative of that here, the Stormfront Freaks. Thank you guys so much. Find someone, tell them you love them, tell them you care about them, especially your mom. This is Stormcat5, and I'll see you on the next one.